Hey guys! If you want to set up reaction roles for your Discord server just like this, then stick with this video. Today, I'll show you how to create self-assignable roles using custom buttons while keeping your server looking aesthetic. So, without further ado, let's get started. I am using Probot for this tutorial. First, add Probot to your server and make sure it has admin permissions. To do this, go to the Probot website, log in with your Discord account, and select your server. If the bot is not working later, double-check its permissions in the server settings. Now, create the roles you want to be self-assignable. In this example, I am creating pronoun roles, but you can use this method for gaming roles, color roles, or any other category that suits your server. Once you have created the roles, ensure that the Probot role is positioned above all the roles you just made. This step is important because bots can only manage roles that are below their own in the role hierarchy. Now, head over to the Probot dashboard and select your server. Click on Create Embed Message. I will now create a message for myself. If you want this message template, join our Discord server to get it for free. Just make sure you are part of our YouTube community and subscribe to get access to this aesthetic template. Follow these steps carefully. Don't forget to add a slash to your roles and emojis while creating the message. Otherwise, the bot will not display them correctly. As you can see, our message is ready. Now, go back to the Probot site and add it here. You can also customize the embed color before sending the message. Once you send it, check if everything is working properly. If there are any issues, take your time to fix them. I am adjusting my message here to make sure it looks perfect. Now, let's move to the last step adding buttons to our message. Go to self-assignable roles in the ProBot dashboard and select the button options. Here, you can choose whether you want the bot to notify users when they select a role or assign roles silently. Click on Add button and customize its name, color, and emoji. This step helps make your reaction roles visually appealing. If you are making multiple buttons, try using different colors to help users easily identify them. Finally, assign the role that users will receive when they click the button. Double check that you are linking the right role to each button to avoid confusion. If you want to add multiple buttons, you can repeat the process and create categories of roles, such as pronouns, interests, or gaming platforms. This makes your server more interactive and organized. And that's it. Our reaction role message is fully set up. Now, I will test it out to make sure it works. Let's click on the buttons and check if they assign the correct roles.
That's all for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future Discord tutorials. Also, join our Discord server if you need help or want to grab the message template for free.